Hey guys, so this has been on my chest for the past week now, and it's been bothering me for a very long, for a long, for a week. So, I did my research, and I found out that, you know, and we've, I go to church, and I'm a Christian, so when I went to church, uh, I found out that, you know, it was a lot, this was like three weeks ago, or something, I found out that, like, 28% of our country is, uh, is, has single men and women, and on the top 10 uh, countries with the most single singles uh, we are number five and you know I looked up the country with the most relationships you know the most proportionate amount of relationships and I found out that it's that China had the most relationships and they have 1.21 uh, billion uh, people in a relationship you know, uh, China, and to put, you know, and to, you know, China's population is 1.3 billion, so almost everyone in China is in a relationship, but here we are in America, and 28% of our country is single, is not in a relationship, which I think is pretty sad, because, you know, in our country, it is common for people to, common for non-Christians, common for average person, the average person, to judge someone on, by their looks, okay? You know, uh, do you know, and us, but us Christians judge should not judge people, you know, most of, most Christians judge people by their hearts, you know, by, you know, who they are, not really their hearts, but like who they are, you know, why they are, you know, basically their attitude and stuff, you know, we judge them by, are they a good person or not, you know, but we don't judge them by their looks, okay? You know, and if you are a Christian out there judging someone by your looks, then I think you should get that out of your head right now. Because, you know, I think it's utterly ridiculous that we have to judge people by their looks. And the reason why I'm addressing this is because, you know, if you watch the, D, the Democratic National Convention you saw that Hillary said that we are stronger together. And I think that test, and I think that test, you know, that, I think that statement is true. You know, I think we, as a country, we are stronger as a union. And in life, you are stronger, you know, you, you, you can get through obstacles better if you are in a relationship with someone else, okay? As a Christian, you can get through obstacles through God. But in the Bible, you know, in Genesis, it states that, you know, the Bible, God makes it clear that the reason why God made Eve is because he knows that it, the obstacles in life you know, if Adam lived a single life, then he would live a very harsh life. Because he knew, because God knew that the obstacles through, the obstacles that in life that we all have to go through are too much for just us alone to handle. We have to have a relationship so that way it's not, we don't, we don't have to carry our burdens by ourselves. We can have someone else to lean, you know, I don't want to, you know, so, you know, I can quote from the song Lean On, you know, it says we have, 
uh, we need somebody to lean on. And that's true. We do have to have someone to lean on. We, we have to have someone else to carry the burdens with us. So it's less heavier. You know. And, you know, and it's better if you're a Christian relationship, because then you can have a third person, the all-powerful, almighty God, to carry your burden. You know, you, you don't have, if you're a Christian, you don't even have to carry your burdens, okay? God will carry the burdens for both of you. But the one, but, you know, we should, you know, but even if it's not about burden, but it's also not about burdens. It's also about taking, you know, making decisions, taking care of, you know, just love, peace. You know, we want ourselves, we want to love each other. We want ourselves to be in a union. You know, we, of course, people will disagree with each other, but we should be in a union because that's what's important for us. And I think it's ridiculous how people have to judge other people by their looks and not by their emotions. Because some people don't even get a chance to show them how nice they are. They just look at them, they might be you know, okay, they don't have the Justin Bieber looks, so I'm not going to go out and talk, so I'm not going to talk to him, you know. I'm not asking you to make, to date someone off the street, you just, to, you just, you know, you, I'm not saying go off into the streets and marry someone you just met, you know, you can date someone, you, that, that, that's why we have, that's why we have dates, so that way we can put them through a test, you know. And if you're a young, young Christian lady out there is looking for a biblical man, you know, you have to put them through the test in the Bible. If you want to learn more about that, watch Man of Christ 101's video of the real biblical man. Or just go to his channel. It's one of his recent videos. But yeah. Yeah, put them, put them through that test. You know, but we need to be in a union, because if we're not in a union, then we can't make good decisions. You know, it will be hard for us to carry our burdens. So, you know, we need to be in a union, you know, just like China, just like, you know, just like, oh, there are, you know, I see, I watch a lot of YouTubers who are single, you know. I mean, a lot. A lot of YouTubers. And I never know why, you know, and I can't, I can't understand why they are single because they're very nice people. Take Will Power, for example, okay? Will Power is a very nice YouTuber. I mean, I had, I have his disagreements with him sometimes, but of course, we all have our own opinions, so that's gonna be. You know, just, yeah. And we all have, you know, and there's also, uh, you know, so Will Power is a very nice, I think he's a very nice person. And I think, you know, he's inspired me to create videos. And I can't understand why, you know, he's not in a relationship because he's a very nice person. You know, why is he, you know... Why is he still alone? Uh, there's also Chris Sanders, you know, if you look up his YouTube channel. Uh, Chris Sanders, I mean, he, he used to be in a relationship, but I, I don't know. I mean, I've had his... I've had more disagreements with him than I have, like, agreed, you know, but I think he can be a nice person. Uh, who else? Andre, Black Nerd Comedy, I think he can be a nice person. He's kind of funny, you know. Um, you know, but point, the point of the 
this video is that, you know, we need to be in a union because, you know, those people who judge people by their looks are setting America back because we are, in America, we are a melting pot, you know, I'm gonna, you know, quote, you know, Man, Man of Christ 101 made this point. We are a melting pot. You know, we are a top, you know, we are a salad, you know, together. The tomato is still a tomato. The lettuce is still a lettuce. The bacon bits are still bacon bits. The broccoli is still broccoli. The carrots are still carrots. The, uh, you know, and the sauce the Italian sauce is still Italian sauce, you know. So, and the ugly, uh, the disgusting hunk of chicken is still a disgusting hunk of chicken. But, you know, the point is, we are all different people. God made us all different. He made us all have different personalities and different opinions. You know, who would want to live in a world with people with everyone who look like, you know, Selena, you know, who would want to live in a world where all girls look like, you know, so Selena Gomez, or, and all boys look like Justin Bieber, I mean, I wouldn't want to live in a world like that, because then it would get boring, you know, I think it'd actually be harder to choose, you know, who I'd want to date because, you know, you know, they're just all the same, you know, same thing with Justin Bieber, you know, it'd be harder for the girl because they're all the same, who, which, what should I choose, you know, so, I just want to make that video, but hey, more positive content's coming soon, and our next video is going to be a top, uh, it's going to be a segment from No Mouth, okay? He's going to, uh, you know, he's going to, you know, be in the next video. Hopefully I can get him out of the closet. He's slept there. I don't know why. I, I guess it's the only place he could sleep. Barack Obama is up in my bed. He's it. He's in his Ewok form. So, yeah. I'll introduce Obama to No Mouth. See you guys next time. Love y'all.